What is going on guys? It is Yuno Yuno here, back again with another video, and today we are reacting to Hell's Paradise Chapter 45. Let's hop into this chapter. Last chapter, we see that Gabimaru doesn't remember anything about his wife. It could be a whole illusion thing that he just don't remember his wife at all. So, we're about to get into it. Alright, let me switch to one page, and let's start. Ooh, excuse me. I can't remember a thing. What is this place? Why am I here? Who are those people? They don't seem to be enemies. It looks for a life. What on earth is that? Am I suffering from amnesia in the middle of a mission? My memory is all fragmented. I do know who I am, at least. I'm Gabi Maro the Hollow. The current top shinobi in the Ikogara, Gabi Maro the Hollow. What? Okay, my bad, I thought I had a message. In the meantime, I'll play along while learning all I can, until I know for certain whether or not these are allies I can trust. And they're just like still talking, which sums up everything we can summarize about Tayo at the moment. Understood? Sure. And if things do turn sour, I'll slaughter every last one of them. Well, okay, they start standing up. Oh no, that's... That's Gabi Mara thinking about killing them. Jesus Christ. Well, we ought to get some sleep. The three of us who aren't already sleeping. Right. Gabi Mara, body okay? Yeah, just fine. Oh, the Tayo. And this look like it doesn't even show his brain. So he, it's the effects of the Tayo. Get back in there and sleep. Until my memories return, I'll just have to hang in there. Damn. Then we get to uh, Yosuraya and Narugai and Sigiri. Can't sleep, Sigiri? Sir, Shion, why that outfit? I need to change out of the blood sp uh, splattered uh, grub. Uh, the blood splattered garb. I like to look my best. Oh. Are you the, um, uh, gosh, are you the rare sort of uh, sort who appreciates my puns? You must have uh, been raised poorly. <laughs> no, that was simply well played. Yet, I just can't stop thinking. Sir Aizen, Sir Genji, Sir Senta, even Sir Kyosho and Sir Tenza. So very much has happened here. And this is only the third, our third night. Then there's Gabi Maru, whom I haven't seen for an entire day. I wonder how he's faring. Or, I wonder how he's faring. Sagiri. Could it be that you are in love? No, I am not. That's a bad habit of yours. Always assuming romantic intent. <laughs> Apologies. I suppose I'm fond of uh, Dodo Utsu. Doi. Do, doi Utsu. Uh, lime Ricks, which often relate to love. Nevertheless, it's clear that you are invested in this man. Enough to forget your place. What is Gabi Maru to you? Frankly, I cannot say, but he was born into a murderous village, and such has been a murderer his entire life. He may have found love, but that past still haunts him. What's more, if Yotaraya is correct, and his very motivation is no more than farce, that would be too heart-rendering to bear. He is a vicious killer. A killer, yes, but not a villain. I cannot speak to Gabi Mara's life, but you did see woman in the Ikagara, yes? So, keep in mind that Yosurai's guess is more than is no more than just a guess. Yes, I want to believe that. To believe that they will re, uh, will be reunited. I apologize, I did forget my place. You have a way of making me drop my guard, Sh uh, Sir Shion. Yes. I know the feeling, Sigiri. I too struggled to know what to do and for whom. As I am in no position to criticize, I'll look over this matter. Does she spit? Or is she, I think she's just taking a long breath. Ah, she laughs. Oh yeah, okay, she kind of reacts. <laughs> ah, she laughs. I shall sleep soundly tonight. Yes, but then who will keep watch? Um, well done, Sagiri. <laughs> All right, and then we flash back to Gabi Maru. 
All right. If you weren't fibbing, we're going to find a big old gate up there. That's right. If it was uh, a lie, I ain't forgiving you. Uh, ain't it a lie? Ain't a lie. Now, who taught you to talk like that, little missy? Or little miss? How did it come to this? From what they've said, this one, uh, this one insane mission, would I ever agree to participate just to follow orders? Or did I have some other reason? No good, I can't remember. Oh, okay. Okay, are they gonna fight? What if they start fighting? What if they start fighting? What if they start fighting? Holy shit, I didn't expect them to run into each other. They're looking at each other. Hmm? Wait, because Gabi Mars, he has no memory. So he just might instantly just want to fight. Hmm. Ah, that would be the criminal Asa Chobe. Humans then. Might, uh, might even be friendly, depending. Yo, yup. And uh, <laughs> Chobe kicks him instantly. He, but Gabimar blocked it. <laughs> a piece of work, this one. We might have been allies, but alas, no plans to join up with them, brother. And Gabimar hops in. Chobe throws his arm out, but tries to grab uh, Gabimar, but he dodges it and ends up on his neck, feet around his neck. Breaks his neck, but he's going to heal. Allies, what's the point? That was over so quick. It wasn't even fun. Gabi Maro, him, huge tile. And then Chobe's hand grabs him. Very huge tile. Oh, he picks him up from the shoulders. He's going to body slam him. He's going to body slam him. Throws him to the ground. Allies, not interested. And that's the end of the chat. Oh, God. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this at all. This is going to be fire. Anyway. We're about to hop into the next chapter of Hell's Paradise. If you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. That way you'll know when it's out. If you like this video, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. It doesn't really matter to me. If you want to see more of me, catch me out on Twitter at if you know you know. And until then, you know where to find you know.